Will a tropical cyclone hit New Zealand next week? Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We're tracking a developing low up in the Coral Sea. It's likely to be named a cyclone over the next couple of days and then drift down towards New Zealand around the middle part of next week or even the earlier part of next week. It's not locked in yet, but the modelling is starting to suggest that northern New Zealand could get hit by this system, bringing rain, but also the wind as well. So let's see what is going on. Uh, in the animated wind map today, high pressure moving into the New Zealand area. So we've got sunnier skies coming through, but a few showers do linger in the north. And up here in the Coral Sea, that is the developing low, which by tomorrow or Saturday at the latest, will likely be named a tropical cyclone by the Australian forecasters. So Friday's setup looks like this. We've got a lot of showers and wet weather to the north of New Zealand. One or two of those showers might just brush uh, places like, um, well, Coromandel Peninsula, up around eastern Northland, and also out around East Cape. They won't be very much, and they'll be fairly light. Elsewhere, high pressure rolling in, and so a fairly quiet, settled end to the week. As we go into the weekend, we've got a little bit of wind blowing through the South Island that will lift temperatures for some, drop it for others, especially those further south, with a few showers arriving later on. One or two showers lingering to the north on Saturday. Most of them are out at sea, but one or two might just brush Northland and maybe also East Cape. Developing low out to the east there, that's a messy system that will actually get quite big. So on Sunday, uh, that is turning into quite a large system, but it's out to our east. All it will really do is help fuel a little bit of a squash zone in this area that will encourage one or two showers around northern parts of the South Island and also eastern and southern parts of the North Island. Also on Sunday, we're starting to see the cyclone starting to appear now on our map. So next week, Monday, look at this. We've got a big system coming through um, directly towards Norfolk Island, brushing past New Caledonia. But at the same time, we've got a big high down here in the Southern Ocean around Tasmania. Now, the faster that high rolls in, the less likely that storm is to hit us. However, the modeling does suggest that the low will come in first. So let's go to Tuesday now. This is the GFS modeling from America, suggesting that the cyclone will be very close to northern New Zealand, gale force winds extending down. The damaging winds, the worst winds, are right up next to the low itself, out at sea. But you can see it is very, very close, and those winds will get blustery with rain. Now here's the good news, the rain could start to push down into drought areas. So this is the American modeling. Let's switch now, still Tuesday, but we'll switch to the uh, European modeling. Very similar picture. So this system does look quite likely to at least come into the northern New Zealand area. As to how far down the country it goes, that is all up to this big high. So the high could be coming in, it might slow it down, it might push it northwards, or if the high stays over here, that'll allow that system to come straight on down. And our final map for Wednesday still shows that storm very, very close. So the high, this high pressure belt down here is to some degree protecting the South Island and the lower North Island. One to keep a very close eye on. This is not yet locked in. The models are still trying to work it out, but they have been fairly consistent at showing a storm forming in the Coral Sea and basically straight coming down towards the New Zealand area. We'll keep a very close eye on it. We'll have daily news updates on it as well. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with the latest for the weekend and the latest about the system as it moves into New Zealand next week.